Hey, today I'm gonna show you how to do spin in Fortnite. Boom! I've seen a couple of YouTube videos and I've seen sometimes they give re re irrelevant information on how to reduce spin in Fortnite, like put Ethernet cables or something like that. But oh, in this video, I'm gonna show you the options you can do even if Ethernet cables don't work and shit like that. So let's go on with it. Off your Bluetooth now. Yeah, if Bluetooth is on, it's gonna interfere with your Wi-Fi signals and it's actually gonna drastically decrease your Wi-Fi speed. So go over to Windows, type in uh, Bluetooth and other devices settings. So over here, you see it's off. As you can see, it's off. You guys also have to off, you also have to off it. So after you off Bluetooth, you have to run. This is the next step. This is about net shop. So you go run CMD as administrator. So you have to run CMD as administrator. Type for attack. So you go to start. Write CMD. And as administrator. Say yes. And here you go. You are on the command prompt. You see, I'm gonna put this all in the description so you don't have to worry. You have to write these separately. So write net int IP. Oh my god, it's so done. Net int IP reset reset. Okay. Let's look at the spaces. Each space matters, okay? Press enter. That's okay. And you gotta so net win sock. Reset. And net. And the fire or this is what like they lost. Okay, so after this guys you have to you have to restart your computer. So if you scroll down, they always see to if you restart the computer to complete this action. So you gotta restart, okay? After you're done with that, because I already did it recently, you're gonna change IP address, DNS address. Now this, some people do this, but I'm saying to the people who don't know and uh, the people who have different DNSs compared to this. I think this is the best one. People have their own opinions. Okay, if you if you already have your best DNS uh, DNS address, you can keep that. But I'm recommending these ones. So these are Google DNS addresses. They claim to say that these are more secure network connections and they are good for gaming. So what you're gonna do first before entering these, go to your speed test. So now speed test is a website where it shows how fast is your network it's really useful we are the music makers and it is also official so you don't have to worry if it gives fake results or something so guys you have to do a speed test let's go what you're gonna see is your download speed and your ping i don't think upload matters because it's anyways like proportional to download speed so you're gonna look at your ping and your download so it's right now uh, checking my downloads my download speed so basically it is 20 26 mbps okay so you so you have to like take note of these okay and you gotta do this three times to get your average result and then after getting your average result so basically if you get 16 15 and 14 your average is 15 ping okay so after you find your average before changing your DNS, change your DNS. Go to your bar. Now how do you change your DNS? Go to your start. Like control panel. Internet. Your network status and tasks. Dialog 4G. And then not this one, but this properties. The properties just below activity. Press properties. As an administrator, I don't have to log in. Then, so you have to scroll down, scroll down. Actually, you don't have to, but if you have so much of drivers and stuff like that, you have to go find Internet Protocol version 4, basically here. 
IPv4. Okay, in IPv4 press properties. In the properties, you would see your D your IP and DNS server addresses are normally automatic, so you have nothing over here. So what I recommend doing is going to use the following DNS address server addresses and type these two. So yeah. So what, that's what I'm going to do. So my primary, meaning the preferred one, is 8.8.8.8. The next one is 8.8.4.4. These are both Google DNS addresses. You don't have to worry it's safe just check that if your internet is more faster than last time and you go back to your internet explorer or whatever do your speed tip uh, speed test three times again and then check your average check if it is faster or slower if it is faster i do recommend using it it would really help you in gaming and the plus side is you would still have um, you still have a secure connection. Okay. Next step is uh, something to do with Epic Games Launcher. Gotta go to your desktop. Wait, let me find Epic Games and lost. Okay. So launch Epic Games. So once you've launched Epic Games, go to your settings, which is right below. In the settings scroll down all the way down all the way down to fortnite click on fortnite there will be something called additional command line arguments click on that over there you're gonna write something what you're gonna write just to make it clear i'm going to the notepad let's write dash dash so make sure you write the dash dash limit client ticks no spaces just together what I want you to write is dash limit client ticks. As you can see over here. Wait, I made a small mistake. Yeah. Limit client ticks. So done with that. You can close it. The settings. Okay. Now let's go for the next step. Next step is yeah i'm gonna tell you to use internet ethernet cable only if there are various other wi-fi networks around you so i'm just gonna to go to my wi-fi network section and look at this i only have two other networks if you guys have two networks or less around you you don't have to use a wired connection you can use your wi-fi and nothing's gonna happen your ping won't reduce it might reduce by like a zero point something just trust me because I tried using wired connections and it didn't increase at all. It was literally the same. That's because the, the thing why they say to use Ethernet cables is because there's interference by other Wi-Fi's when they like there's something to do with the channels, the Wi-Fi channels. So that's why they tell you to use um, wired cable. Any background apps using network usage, please close it. Next task is make sure you're not downloading anything apps movies youtube games nothing through your device or another device connected to the same internet you're using if you're playing fortnite if you're playing fortnite it is best to not do anything with the wi-fi but just play fortnite if your mom if your dad if your granddad is using internet the same internet and if they're watching youtube that's gonna drastically reduce your wi-fi if all that doesn't work there is a software, a software which you can download from the internet. It's called What the Fast, a ping booster. It basically um, tries to reduce packet loss and also reduce your ping and get you connected to the appropriate servers in depth. Like they do, like like they try to link you to the fastest servers, like in a great, like in a proper pattern, like something like that. It works. Um, ping so it's basically a ping booster and you have to use automatic settings don't mess up with the settings just tell them to uh, they have like an option where they can find the best settings for you do that it's problem is it's only a demo you would have to buy it after I think 20 days so I'm sorry 
but that's just an option if you want to do it okay settings please go to settings this is really annoying but this is by like your choice but what i really recommend doing is going to your settings going to update and offing automatic updates go to advanced options i know here there's update options so here you're gonna automatically download up, uh, updates even over meter data connections off please do that another thing i came up with is going to your wi-fi if you're having windows going to your properties and over to your properties you're gonna go to your metered connection and on it it's gonna be off you gotta on it then oh here it says okay so the next one is to try to get as much as fps out of your computer make sure lesser apps are running in the background so this increases fps and ping won't get interfered by the lag hitches experienced by a computer and that's something i have experienced and after reducing my fps everything went really well Okay, so yeah, I think that's it guys, that is all the tips to reduce your ping, when you do this, you are guaranteed to reduce your ping by at least 7 ping, and trust me, when I say seven, you reduce by 7 ping, that is a lot, hope you guys found this useful, if your ping somehow reduced, for example mine, it used to always be to 70 to 80, right now it is from 50 to 60. So if this helped you guys reduce some sort of thing, please like the video and you can share it with your friends if you want because I really need views. Thank you. Now I can finally go back to sleep. <laughs>